Uh, I joined the Zangoshi Chronicles mainly because I worked with Bridget early on in helping her develop concepts for um, her world, like characters and uh, the environments. Um, so when they, Bridget approached me about making the Zangoshi Chronicles game, I was really excited about that. I wanted to have a hand in really growing these characters um, and being approached to be the art director was like a dream come true because basically that gives me a lot of control of how the world's going to look and how the characters are going to look and then you get to see them brought to life in a, in a game world. My references for the style of Zangoshi um, really came from looking at what kids were looking at these days but I didn't want it to be too kidsy, too girly, too anything like that. I didn't want um, yeah, I wanted a sort of a whimsical fantasy world that I would have liked to have been in as a kid. Um, the characters to have strength to them, to have uh, a bit of just get out there and get out into the world feel about them. I wanted the world to feel like almost New Zealand summer when you're walking through the bushes and running along the beaches. Um, so I think a lot of my inspiration was just being a kid myself in New Zealand. The tips I can give for an uh, aspiring artist is that Art now, I think, is a viable profession. There's, there's a whole world out there for artists now because of the internet and the way the world's growing. So I, if you've got a kid that wants to draw, I would first of all say encourage that. The biggest tip I think I can give an aspiring artist, first of all, is my road was quite a long one of self-teaching myself. I wouldn't recommend that road. I would recommend uh, getting tuition, it's just a faster way that you build up a strong foundation. I also recommend doing a 3D course as well. Um, I found that really helped my art in terms of lighting, form, anatomy, but also it gives you another skill out there as an artist. You can concept up an idea, but then you can also be the guy that creates the models and creates the world. If you want to see more of what we're doing, go check out the Zingoshi website and watch our world come to life.